We have, we have late game plays that I have in my back pocket. Obviously, I'm the coach on the floor with Coach TJ and making sure that we're like mind and we have plays that, you know, in different situations that we run every day in practice to kind of figure out late game situations. And we had our play. Um, we didn't get to spots quick enough. It's not necessarily a pass for Mike exactly. You know, the play is designed to read about four different options, and I have to make that read. And we didn't even get to that point to be able for me to make that read, and Mike ended up almost running me over while I was trying to get to our spots. And so when that happened, I looked up at the clock. I saw, like, we're not going to be able to get to our spots and, 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 and look for these options. It's not going to happen. So I kind of pulled it back out, looked at the clock again, saw I had an opportunity opening to take the shot, and I took it. I was actually licking my chops and saying, thank God that he is letting me open because I know I'm going to hit it. That's a shot I hit all the time in practice and that I've worked on all my life. You don't think about it in the moment. I mean, I think that I think I've thought about that after math but, uh, and, and realized the magnitude of the shot. But when I, you're in your moment and you're a competitor, it's just it's do or die. You make it or that's it. Have you seen the Titanic hoops thing? So, yeah. Some, one of my good friends texted it to me. It was like, look at what happened. And it's, Unbelievable. It's ridiculous what social media people can do nowadays. <laughs> but I guess it fits pretty well. So you watched it. You I did. It. I did. It was funny. It was funny. It's a mastermind game plan I've had so that now I can shoot and people leave me open when it counts the most. <laughs>